Hello friends, this video on linear inequalities part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exams. Inequalities definition, notations used in inequalities, solution and solution sets, rules of inequality and graphical solution. Two real numbers or two algebraic expressions, if they are related by symbols greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to then it is called inequalities. Let me repeat. Two real numbers or two algebraic expressions related by these symbols form inequalities. There are various kinds of inequalities based on whether it is a variable or numeric. For example, numeric inequalities 3 is greater than less than 5. You see, both the terms are numeric here. We have literal inequalities where one side is numeric and one side is numeric and one side is algebraic expressions or literals. Similarly, we have also inequalities based on greater than or greater than equal to. For example, x is greater than 5, 3 is greater than 5. This is called strict inequalities. And we have something called slack inequalities where we say greater than equal to or less than equal to. Such kind of inequalities are slack inequalities. Also, we have inequalities based on whether it is x or x square. For example, x is greater than less than 5, or we say x square plus 2x less than 5. So, in first case, when it is only x, we call linear inequalities. In second case, when we have x square, in second case, when we have x square, we call quadratic inequalities. So, inequalities are two real numbers or algebraic expressions related by symbol greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to and there are various kinds of types of inequalities it can be literal numeric or literal inequalities based on whether it is uh, an algebraic expression or it's a numeric value also we have strict and slack inequalities based on whether it is greater than or greater than equal to or less than or less than equal to if it is greater than or less than it is strict inequalities if it is greater than equal to or less than equal to it is slack inequalities. Also we have inequalities based on whether it is x or x square. If it is x is greater than 5, x is less than 5, such kind of form. It is linear, linear inequalities. And in case it is x square plus 2x plus 3 is something of that form where you have x square that is greater than or less than equal to or anything of that form it is quadratic inequalities. Let me take some notation. When we say a is this symbol b, I mean to say a is less than b. When I say a is this symbol b, I mean a is greater than b. When I say a is equal to cross, I mean a is not equal to b. When I say a is this symbol and this, I mean to say a is, a is less than equal to b. When I say a is this greater than symbol and we have a dash there, B, I mean to say A is greater than equal to B. Please note, A is less than B. Also, if you see, you can think of this like this. When you say this symbol, this is small, right? This is small, this is dot here. But this is a big one. So here you will have bigger quantity, bigger quantity. And here you have small quantity. So we can say like this, small is smaller than big. Also, when I take like this, this is a big quantity because the big mouth this is a small mouth. So this is small and this is big. So we can say big is bigger than small. So the side which is extended like this is the bigger one. So here when you say like this, this, this is near A side. So you'll say A is greater than B. In this case, the bigger area is near B and the smaller area is near A. So we'll say A is less than B. Or we can say B is greater than A. Similarly, in this case, when we have dash in the bottom, that means greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. For example, in this case, it says A is less than because it, it is A is near the lesser, lesser side. A is less than equal to B or A is greater than equal to B. Now, let's define solution and solution set. Solution is any value of x which makes the inequality true. For example, I say x is greater than 5. Then solution of x can be 6. 7, 8, 
any of these are solution this is solution 1 this is solution 2 this is solution 3 you can have n number of solution solution is any value of x that makes the inequality a true statement when i say x x is equal to 4 so this statement is not true so 4 is not a solution but 6 7 8 is a solution so what is solution solution is any value of x which makes the inequality a true statement now what is solution set solution set is set of values of x that is set of solution is called solution set for example in this case if i say that 6 7 8 9 goes to infinity this are the numbers which satisfies the value of x so the whole thing is called solution set please remember the difference between solution and solution set solution is an individual number that makes the inequality true and solution set is collection of solution solution set is equal to collection of solution for example we have let's suppose x one more example less than 3 and uh, greater than 3 and less than 7 so we'll say values of x and x is integer so x can take value 4 5 and 6 correct so here 4 5 and 6 all these are solution this is solution 1 this is solution 2 this is solution 3 if you combine all the solution you get 4 5 6 as a set and this set is called solution set so solution set is what combination of all solutions collection of all solution now there are some rules of inequality equal numbers may be added or subtracted from both sides without affecting the sign of inequality what it means is when i say 5 is let's suppose less than 8 so if i want to add numbers for example if i want to add 1 1 here so this becomes 6 and 8 6 and 9 so the sign should not change sign will not change if you see this is true this is also true similarly if you subtract also let's suppose you say minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 what you get 4 is less than 8 minus 1 7 so this is also true here we notice that the sign is not changing so we add or subtract from both sides the sign doesn't change without affecting the sign of the sign doesn't change second both side of inequality can be multiplied or divided by same positive number please note this positive is very crucial without affecting sign we'll take same example 5 is less than 8 we'll multiply both side by 2 2 is a positive number into 2 2 is a positive number please note positive is very crucial so what you get is 10 5 into 10 is less than 16 we notice that in this case also the sign was not changed. We need not change the sign. Let's take one more example. 4 is less than 8. Now if we divide by 2, both sides, this is a positive number. What we get is 2 is less than 4. Here also we see the sign doesn't change. That's what it says. When you multiply or divide by a positive number, the sign doesn't change. We'll have third rule of equality which is very crucial. Please note, don't be confused here. If you are multiplying and dividing by a negative number, the sign changes. In the first example, we have done for positive number. In this, we are taking about negative number. We will take the same scenario again. So, instead of 2, I will do minus 2. So, for 5 is less than 8, this was our condition. We say minus 2 into this and we say minus 2 into this. So, what we get is minus 10 and what we get is minus 16. So we know that minus 10 is greater than minus 60 because in the number line if you represent like this minus 10 this comes here and minus 16 comes here and this is 0. So this is greater than this. So sign should be like this. So you see the sign has changed. That means when you multiply by a negative number in a inequality equation the sign changes. Also let's take the same example 4 and 8. Here we say 4 is less than 8. Now we divide by minus 2 both sides. So what you get is minus 2 and what you get is minus 4. Here also we see minus 2 is greater than minus 4. Again if you draw the number line this is minus 2, this is minus 4, this is 0. So minus 2 is greater than minus 4. Here also what we see is sign has changed. 
So let me re uh, repeat what I have said. If you add or subtract any number, this is true for both positive and negative. If you add or subtract any positive or negative number, the sign doesn't change. If you multiply or divide positive number, sign doesn't change. But if you multiply or divide a negative number, sign does change. Please make a note. If you multiply or divide a positive number, sign doesn't change. If you multiply or divide a negative number, sign does change. Now let's see solution set. So here we have to find the value of x. In first case x is natural number, in second case x is integer, in third case x is real number. So let's take example of natural number first. So it says 30x is less than 160. Now we'll divide by 30 both sides. Since we are dividing by a positive number, the sign won't change or we'll say x is less than 160 by 30 and this is equal to x is less than 5 1 by 3. Now we say x is a natural number. So natural number starts with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It continues to infinite. Now we are looking for a natural number less than 5 1 by 3. That is till this point. We will now see 1 is less than 5 1 by 3. Yes. 2 is less than 5 1 by 3. Yes. 3 is less than 5 1 by 3. Yes. 4 less than 5 1 by 3. Yes. Is 5 less than 5 1 by 3? Yes. Is 6 less than 5 1 by 3? No. 7 less than 5 1 by 3? No. So what we are supposed to take is this set. So our solution here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the natural number which satisfies this condition. Now let's take the same example from the integer perspective. So the same question here 30x by 1, 30x is less than 160. We'll divide by 30. 30 is a positive number, the signs won't change. So what we get is x is less than 5 1 by 3. Now the integers we have is it starts from minus infinity, continues from like this to minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, continues to infinity. Now we'll start from this direction. Is 5 less than 5 1 by 3? Yes. Is 6 less than 5 1 by 3? No. Is 7 less than 5 1 by 3? No. Similarly, if this is true, let's now see 4 for 4 also. Is 4 less than 1 by 3? Yes. So now if these two are true, we will assume that everything is true. And that is how it is. In case of less and greater, there is one line. So in this case, this line is 6. So before this 6, whatever comes, that is minus infinity to 5, everything will satisfy this condition. And after 5 whatever comes, none of them will satisfy the condition. So our solution set will be minus infinity to 5. This will be our solution set. Similarly, when we talk about real number, when we talk about real number, so this is minus infinity to 5 all Nash or integer. So we'll see something like this minus infinity 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 dot 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 here. Because we are talking only about integer. Now when you are talking about natural number, a real number, we will have, we'll find the same thing here because when we say 30x is less than 160, we will divide by 30 from both sides. So what you get is x is less than 5 1 by 3 and since we are talking about all real numbers, so real number is going to be any number from minus infinity to plus infinity and we have observed that, we have observed that 5 is the point which where the sign changes. Sorry, 5 1 by 3 is the point where the sign changes. So any number which is, let's say 5 2 by 3, it's any number which is less than 5 1 by 3 satisfies this condition. Any number greater than 5 1 by 3 doesn't satisfy this condition. So the solution set will be minus infinity to 5 1 by 3. All numbers included. So this will be the answer. Please note difference between this and this. In case of integers, since it is only integers, so we have said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, dot, 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 minus infinity. But since it is a real number, real number can be any number, 1.2, 2.3, 3.4. So we have said minus infinity to 5, 1 by 3. Thank you. Visit examplay.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors, and much more.